for here. If it's going to be an Orog, I'll just... Well, no, there it is. Wow, it's an Osteosaur right off the bat, as you might imagine. Also weak to Aura Bolt and Fire Dance. I should have gone for an Aura Bolt there, but either way, we should be able to finish him off. Probably a drill would be better. Fossil missed. Ha! What are you going to do about that? And that should finish him off. Down they go. Those have uh, useful rages, so you might want to look into that. Oh, yeah, spoiler alert. We're going to get more rages eventually. All right, we are ready to move on. Let's head into the second basement and head over down here. Really? No fights? I'll take it. And here we can get one of the best helmets in the game, the Genji helmet. I'm so surprised that they give it to you this early. It's awesome. We're going to move that on to Glenn and move the crystal helmet on to uh, Stefan. Even though he's got the green beret, which increases his HP, I feel like the increase in defense and magic defense is outweighed. Well, the, yeah, that, that would outweigh that. Hold on for one second, though. All right, this time I gave everybody an amulet or a, or a ribbon, simply because I'm tired of zombie. So let's move on. Now we can head up here, and we can find a dead end with a tombstone. But should you examine the tombstone, instead of reading it, you push a button, and it opens up a path back here, where we can find a Mad Oscar, which is still, well, it's not the first time that we've taken him on. We have taken him on inside the Colosseum before, but technically this is still the first time that we have fought him. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this in. This, it'll give you more of, an, of a way of seeing how much damage it takes to kill him. He doesn't get an attack off, though. Get another Revivify out of him. Damn near everybody gives you Revivifies here. We should get quite a bit. Go up here, press the skull, and as you can see, that has raised the water level. So we are ready to move on again. More new enemies. Uh, ugh. You know what? Let's just go ahead and fight. Uh, you need to use... Probably Flash would be best here. Nice! Doom has worked for me, but it didn't. Of course it doesn't. Uh, these guys are going to be weak to Aura Bolt and Fire because they are undead. Pretty much everything here is zombie, so think of them as zombies. Counter? Nice! Down it goes. Fire Dance might be enough to finish these guys off. If not, then we got another Fire 2 coming. Oh, we are going to kick these guys' ass. Power Demon seems to have a lot of HP, though. Down he goes. I'm not too concerned about MP here because I still have Osmos, which damn near replenishes everything to full with one move. Just incredibly overpowered Osmos, I think. Compare that to other games when you couldn't do that at all. Mm. Intense. Let's continue on to the southwest here, and we can find Crystal Mail. Very nice. Uh, what we're going to do is give that to Lanya since she is in the front row, and that should up everything for her. I don't think anybody that needs diamond armor doesn't already have it. Well, this, of course, can't wear it. So let's head down these stairs, and down here we can get ourselves a Zarina gown. Now, nobody can equip that. That is for Rose only. Now, I believe that we want to go through this door here and press this switch here. Let's move on. It seems to have done something, but I could not see what it did. More new enemies? Nope. Having amulets across the board makes everything so much easier around here. Why didn't I think of that before I walked in? Now, right, let's head up here and head into the top left door. Actually, do I want to go through here just yet? Uh, nothing happens. Carve something? What could I carve? Nothing appropriate comes to mind. Of course not. So, I don't want to go in there just yet. Let's head through the middle door. And here, we find a turtle, which, if you did not press the switch in the top right room, would not really be there for you. And this is a very nice turtle. It not only allows us to jump on its back, it then actually escorts us. I I'm so confused. All right, let's go up here and press the button. And by pressing this button, it raises the water once more. Now we can hop on this turtle. And this turtle, once again, will, is so nice that it will carry us all the way to this other door, which we opened with the switch down below. I could not see that. Maybe I just missed it, though. It was possible to see, but I missed. And here, 
We find a save point, always useful, but let's get those treasure chests first. Actually, I think it is a little early for this. I keep on trying to move forward in the dungeon when it is not necessary just yet. I keep on forgetting important things that I can find. So let's hop back on the turtle, back the way that we came. So let's head through the bottom door this time. And here we can find two, four tombstones. Letters have been carved here. Irau. Kusi. Dilro. What the hell are you talking about? Wet. What is this like scrabble words? What the hell is going on? It's actually written backwards. The world is square, is what it says. Which is funny because Square is the name of the company. Uh, however, I am told in the Japanese version that it actually read uh, Rest in Peace, but the other way it read Rot and Wither, which is incredibly dark, and of course, Nintendo of America would never have allowed that. They're, they don't do dark things. So let's head back to this room uh, with the tombstone. And now I can think of something to write here. Yes, this time we're going to start from the beginning and start writing it, I guess, right to left or left to right, however it works. The world is square. There we go, the world is square. And that was the Game Over music, so I let you listen to it because I'm never going to let you listen to it again. Find the experience egg hidden in the back room in the third basement. So, what we need to do is head back to the room. Well, actually we need to head back here. No, it is actually the left room. This one has got me so confused. There are too many rooms, too many rooms. Let's head down here, and there should actually be a secret passage through here. And back here we can find the experience egg that we were told about. You could actually get this from the beginning, but what fun is that? You need to solve the puzzle, damn it. So now we are ready to move on. Hopefully we can make it to the room with the treasure chest again. Let's head back to the place where we were before, which actually does lead us forward in the dungeon. This is a little bit of a puzzle dungeon, but if you hopefully kept track of what I was doing and what I did wrong, hopefully you could, you could get through it just, well, more easily than I did. Let's actually head up here, and actually I think we can open up one of the treasure chests before I need to use the save point. Let's head up and around and grab this treasure chest with a man-eater in it. Now this is a weapon that actually doubles uh, how much damage it does when it's facing a humanoid enemy. Good to have and good to keep in mind. I will use this save point just before we open up that other treasure chest. All healed and saved, and let's open up this treasure chest on the other side. Let's head up and take on this monster in a box. Now the monster in the box is the presenter, and it is boss time. There is a trick to taking on the presenter. Uh, it, you might recognize it as an upgrade. Well, it is in a sense. However, this guy is weak to just instant death. So let's go ahead and try that with Demon Eye. Go show. Now if we can get both of them at the same time, and it looks like I have gotten them at the same time, we should get two of the items that they drop. Hopefully I've done that correctly. I have! We get two Dragon Claws out of that and 2,000 gil. Very nice. The Dragon Claws are upgrades, I believe, for Elvis. They are for Elvis. Uh, so, I mean, look at that. From 296 to 
428 huge increase they are pearl elemental which should help out in the long run however i will probably change back to the fire knuckles for now and you'll see why in a little bit can glenn actually equip them i don't think he can no he can't uh, i'm gonna go ahead and use that save point once more and then we will move on into the next room Okay, I have changed the equipment around quite a bit here. We have Lamia now on running shoes and a ribbon with one enhancer and a gold shield. In terms of Elvis, we got a hero ring and the Genji glove so that he can have dual fire, fire knuckles, even though we just picked up something that was so much more of an upgrade. Uh, Glenn, I believe, is the same. Amulet and sprint shoes, pretty much things that I don't necessarily need for this, but a gold lance for him as well. Uh, Stefan, mithril glove and amulet, I think everything is the same for him as well. Okay, let's move on. We are ready to head up through this door here and up to a fight. Are you serious? Okay, let's move on. We are ready to take that final step and find out that Daryl sleeps here. And Daryl is spelled properly this time. But it's never that easy. It is boss time. We're up against Dullahan. Dullahan starts off by casting level blank pearl. Now, Devil Blank Pearl will only hit Limea. Uh, the way that this works is that it will do... Damn it. It will do damage to whoever has a level that is a multiple of the last digit of your gill. I know, it is weird. Uh, we're just going to, to move on and we're going to cast Runic almost constantly and Stefan's pretty much going to be on healing duty from now on uh, because I refuse to use the pause trick on him for his slot. So, Stefan's on heal duty for now. I believe that cure go cure doesn't go right through that, unfortunately. Uh, let's just keep on doing that. Uh, you need to do fire dance. He is weak to fire. Uh, and we're going to be needing to do runic damn near all the time here. This guy is not nice. Not nice at all. Unfortunately, I don't seem to have anything to be able to deal with that. Let's just attack, I guess. We'll just stick with runic all the damn time. And just drill and regular attacks from Elvis. And eventually, we will need to heal. All right, let's try. Let's risk a heal here uh, from Lania, and you go ahead and go for a regular attack. Once again, level blank pearl. Uh, let me explain it again. The last digit. Are you serious? Damn, this guy is fast. Uh, the last digit of the amount of money that you have. I messed that up. The last digit of the amount of money that you have. Anybody that is a multiple of that digit is hit by level blank pearl. I, he, this is, this guy is weird. There's no other way for me to put it. He is a strange one. I'm just gonna keep on going for drill and regular fight. What am I doing doing fire dance anyway? That is not what I need to do. I just need to regular attack. This guy's throwing me off because he is so damn weird. That's the only way to put it. He is weird. Northern Cross, that is absorbed by Runic. Very, very nice that that would be. I'm scared that it wouldn't be for a second there. Uh, we're gonna just keep on doing regular attacks. Hopefully we can handle this. Down goes Dullahan. Dullahan. Uh, it is actually a real thing, Dullahan. He's a kind of an Irish zombie-ish figure. It's not really fair to call him a zombie, but still, that is the kind of figure that he is. 